Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I have a little project I want to do. It was um, inspired by Carol Laws. I have, um, I purchased the tag kit, um, this year's Christmas tag kit from Sample. And I've used it in quite a bit of projects, but I've sized them down or I've done something with them. These are the regular size that they come. This is how they get printed. And there's several, but I only printed these. So um, they come three to a sheet. So I printed six. So I printed these three and these three, or I don't know how they go. I don't remember. Then um, I wanted to print the backs. So this back is from her. This I've had for a long time. I don't even know if she carries it anymore, but it's the shabby backgrounds if you're looking for that. And then she also has background um, kit this year. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's the sh uh, shabby Christmas background. Okay, so anything you see with plaids or stripes, that's the shabby background. And this is the shabby Christmas background. And then shabby Christmas background and shabby Christmas background. So why I did this is because I'm going to make a flip book and it's also going to have pages, pockets, and what have you. I don't know if I'll get through the whole video today because I haven't printed all my pages for my little books that are going to go in between the flips. But um, I wanted to at least before, I don't want to make two. I was going to make it and then I thought, no, I'll make what I can and come back and do the rest. So, um, on video, because I just love visiting you all and <laughs> I like making things and turning on the camera. So I have all my pieces cut and all I did was I took what I had, you know, the background kits and what have you, and I made the tags to go on the back. So these don't come, well, actually, these do come in tags, but I didn't look for it um, because I already had this. <laughs> so um, anyway, and I just thought it looked pretty. And it was a little bit different than the plaids and the stripes and, and what have you. So um, anyway, um, so I just took, you know, the background and I measured it. I think it's. I don't remember what it is. I know it's three and a quarter this way, but I don't remember what it is this way. So you can do these with any tags. You can make your own tags like I did, like this, okay? And do it any way you want, all right? So I just need those scraps over there. So what I've done, you can do this with paper, but I'm doing it with fabric, and I'm doing it a tab flip-flop, sort of. Uh, yeah, a tab flip-flop journal, tag journal. <laughs> okay, so I have got my strips of fabric, and Carol's done this in several of her journals, and I really like them, and I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a try with the tags and see how it goes, and then I'll eventually um, graduate to a journal. <laughs> She did a journal um, for Sample's design team and uh, a journal, flip-flop journal, with basically the same way, fit, you know, tab journal. And um, so maybe I'll graduate to that, but I'll start off with this. So you don't have to use fabric. You can use paper, but I'm using fabric, okay? And it's about an inch wide, all right? I just folded it. It's two inches wide. I folded it in half and then sewed it so that, but you can glue it and you can use paper just about an inch wide. Okay. So I'm going to flip these so that I have it going this way. So that will be my cover first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So when it folds, well, it'll make sense. So let me just push these aside. I have to keep them in order, otherwise I'll forget. So the first thing you wanna do is take your first two tags, okay? 
And if they don't line up perfectly, it's fine. We can trim it or what have you. Like this doesn't match up perfectly, but it's fine. So I'm going to put my first tab on the left-hand side of this tag, okay? So I'm going to take the tag like this. I am going to place my, no, I have to place it on the left side. And I want it to be even with this part. I better get out my mat because I have to use glue. You want to make it even with where the tag goes, okay? And you can use paper or cardstock or what have you, but I'm just using fabric. So I am going to glue this down and eventually I'm going to stitch it, but for now I'm just going to glue it. So I'm going to glue this down. Oh God, I hope this is right. And I'm using Fabri-Tac because it's fabric. But you could use it, you know, for paper as well. And I just hope that I do this right. I wanted to do a prototype, but I don't want to really print anything. I better get out my glue mat. Um, so you want to put your tab right there. And don't worry if it's too long, you can trim it. Okay, but just make sure that it's right there at that tab. Okay, and if it's too long, you can always trim it. So now I'm going to take my next piece. Okay, I'm going to flip it over like this. And I am going to glue this tab, this part, to this tab. And you don't have to use fabric, like I said, you can use pretty much anything. Paper, um, washi tape would work, as long as you glued it down. I'm just getting enough glue on there. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, which is my back, and I'm just gonna place it as evenly as possible onto that tab. Okay and try and match it. Okay. And like I said, don't worry if it doesn't match exactly. We can always trim. So that's my first page. Now I want to flip it over. See, it's not completely even, but I may not have cut it completely even. Just moving it over just a, a touch to try and make it even, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now you're going to take this part and you want to put a tab in here. Okay, I think. No, you want to take this. You want to, no, I want an angel on here because I want it to flip like this, okay? So it'll flip this way. There'll be an angel, oops, yeah, that's right. There'll be an angel on this side, okay? And when you flip it, there'll be this one, then the angel. So I wanna put the angel this way. And again, leave a space because we're gonna put little booklets in there as well. Okay, because it's going to be a journal, a kind of a flip-flop journal, but with tags. So I'm going to leave a space about an eighth of an inch, or maybe that's an eighth. No, it's not. That's an eighth. Maybe I should use a, like a little bit more, maybe a quarter of an inch. Leave a quarter of an inch. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Hmm. I think a quarter of an inch would be too big. Well, maybe not. Leave a quarter of an inch, okay? I don't think that'll be too much. So I'm just gonna take my glue 
I've got it, you know, matched up pretty good. I'm going to trim that, so don't worry about that. And I want my angel on this side because I want to add pockets and things like that on this side. So I'm just going to glue that down, leaving about a quarter of an inch where my fabric is, or if you want to use paper, that's fine too. Let me get my glue mat because I don't want to get any glue on that. And I'm going to stitch this. You don't have to, just make sure you put plenty of glue there. So now I've got this. I am going to now put the back of this here and match that up. And I don't have to measure where my fabric is because I'm matching up my tags. Okay. So I'll just match up the tags. Like this. like so. And you can get under there and get the glue. That's how I do it because otherwise I can't match it up right. I'm just going to pull this over just a little bit so I can match that up. Okay. So now I'm going to flip it. See? I've got my first page my second page, my third page. So now I'm going to flip it over. I'm not gluing anything else down. I'm just going to glue this bottom. Just make sure you've got everything glued good if you're not going to stitch it. But I am. I'm going to stitch all the way around. Not right now. I'm just showing you how to put it together. And like I said, you don't have to use fabric, but it's nice to use if you have some fabric that will look nice. I happen to have some of this star gold snowflake type fabric, so I decided to use it. I okay, am Frank. I can't really see it's so dark out. I've got my light on. It's going to rain. So now I'll just trim off this bottom so it's not in my way. Use your scissors if you're sewing scissors if you're using fabric. It just comes out neater. So now I want to flip it, and my next one is going to be okay. So I need to put this here and here. Okay, so first I have to put my fabric tab in make sure well it doesn't matter let me flip it this way it's easy to work going right to left because i'm right-handed so i'm just going to open this up and glue right where that tab you know right where the corner of the um and i'll just glue the bottom and i'll go around and glue you know the tops and stuff when i'm done you could glue like the whole thing, but just the edge is fine. So now I'm going to need some glue on there as well. To make sure I'm following that line, this line up here. And now I'm going to uh, glue this down here and glue it closed. I hope this is making sense and I hope I'm doing it right. So there's three, no, there's two, front and back. So now I'm gonna flip it and see, I've got my angel on this side. So it's like this so far. Now I need to take an angel and put it, an angel, and put it here. 
about a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna measure it just so it's even. So, there we go. That's a quarter of an inch. And I'm just gonna stick some glue under there. Just to get it stuck on my quarter of an inch. Straighten it out, bring it down. And now I'll stick this underneath here and bring it down while wow, it's pouring out. It's good because we need the rain. The lake is getting low, which really bothers the wildlife. <laughs> it's like, wait, we need more water. It needs to be full. Okay, so now I've got to do on this side one that and don't worry if that's not even just as long as it matches up with this I've got to do a plain one. Oh, that's too matchy um, Oh, that's green. Um, it doesn't matter, Cheryl. Just put it down. Just put it down. <laughs> Sorry. I should have looked at the backs first, but it's fine. I'm stingy with my, um, with what I print just don't want to print too many things, you know, so I'm going through my stash before I print. So you're going to see a very eclectic journal in your future if you're a follower of mine. If you're not, a very, very warm welcome and a welcome to all of my subscribers. You're so sweet. I'm going to get to my comments after this and get my chores done because they're falling behind. <laughs> way behind. So now I'm going to flip it. And that didn't come out very even. But it's even on this side. So I'm just going to leave it alone and put my cut this here. That's why it's easier making sure that everything up here matches because it's easier to cut from here. So now I need to put another, you need five of these and six cards, six tags. And like I said, you don't have to use these tags. You can use any tags. So let me glue that in there. Oops, I, well, that doesn't matter. Push this down, make sure that's up there. And I just tore these. You don't have to, you know, be real precise. I just, you know, tore them so that they were the same length. And then I stitched them so that they would, it would be easier for me to work with. You don't have to stitch them. You could glue them. You're not seeing it, you know. It's just easier for me to work with if they're stitched. So now I have an angel, a plaid, an angel. So I need another angel. So I'll use this one, maybe. Hmm. They're all red or green, so it doesn't matter. I'll use this one. It doesn't matter. And I can pretty much see my quarter of an inch. See? So I'll just eyeball this one. Wow, that one just made it. I mean, as far as length, you know? 
And like I said, by all means, you can do paper. So now I'm gonna flip it and do a plane. Not a plane, but one without an angel. And I'm just gonna match those up. And I'll go around it with my glue. I'm not paying much attention to my glue because, like I said, I'm gonna stitch it. And I can trim different things or use ink or what have you if it doesn't match up perfectly. I am very bad at cutting. So I'm going to just go down here. I really hope this comes out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> and I'm just going to go across here. And up here. And go across here. I should have gone across all of the tops, but I can, like I said, I can stick my glue underneath there and go underneath all of the tops. And like I said, it's going to be a flip-flop, so there's going to be signatures in here. I just haven't chosen all my papers or anything yet. I did show some tags that I already had, and I had, you know, some ephemera that I've made, Christmas ephemera that I've made that I haven't used yet, so... I'll pull that out. And this doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be anything. So now, oh, don't want to do that. I've got to get my hinge in there. So now I need to put in another hinge. Right? I shouldn't have glued that. I'm glad I didn't glue down the edge. we go. I had just glued the bottom, so that was good. Good save. Okay, now I need, I'm going to flip it back over. I need a plane on this side, so actually I don't have to flip it over. I'll do the angel first. That will keep me on track. So see, I'm just flip-flopping them. But you could use all angels. You could use all plain. You could use all different colors. Um, like I said, the, the tags themselves measure six by three. So if you wanted to make all your own tags, you can. You don't have to buy a kit or anything. I just really wanted to use these full size. And I didn't you know, want to make a whole journal for them. I've made so many Christmas journals this year. And I am waiting for a new kit to come out, one of my design teams, so I'm really excited about it. Hopefully it'll be out soon and I'll be able to work with it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I haven't been told. And I am still working on my daily, uh, December daily. So I'm caught up with that. Well, I have to do today's, but I'll do that later on when it's after I do my chores and I can sit quietly. So there's that one. I think I'm pretty good with all my measurements, you know, with my quarter of an inch. I'm kind of just eyeballing it. So now I need to flip it so I can put the uh, plain, well, not plain, but just not an angel one, you know. So I'll go down here. And a little bit over here. And like I said, you could do this with paper too. But I loved her journal. Oh my gosh, it came out so pretty. And her tag journal. They both came out very, very nice. She does beautiful, beautiful work. I'm so inspired by her and um, Sharon Hearth and Lydia and Angela Kerr. Oh my gosh. They are just Rachel from Roxy Creations, Gail. Everybody is so... And the, the um, collaboration that Rachel and Bella did, oh goodness. So I'm just going to put some glue down here because I haven't yet. I just don't want to make a mistake, so that's why I wait to 
glue my edges if I have to. But so far, everything looks good. Now I need another tag. So I need, I mean a hinge. So I've got six cards, five hinges. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll do it this way because, like I said, I'm right-handed. I'll put my, tag, my hinge in here, and I'm only gluing right there again. I hope I'm in frame. I can't see a thing. I hope the camera's on. Oh my gosh. It is. I'm putting my hinge in here. Sharon Hearth just made another gorgeous journal. It's called The 12 Days of Christmas, and I don't know how she does it because I'd have to think for a year on which, um, you know, what to use. Like, the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, and, you know, she just goes on and on, and she's, please visit Sharon Hearth's channel today if you have a chance. She has done the most beautiful 12 days of Christmas, and it's just all different digitals that, you know, she's had printed that she's pulled out, and it all matches the 12 days of Christmas, you know, the hens, and Lord's Leaping, and you know, just by kind of making it all up, you know, as she looked at her, you know, what she had printed. And I think, you know, she may have printed some things, but I don't know. And I'm, I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure it's from like all different designers, digital designers. I'm not sure, but oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Sharon, if you're watching, wow, what an inspiration. I'll have to think of doing something like that next year because that's a sweet idea. She makes one every year. I have to go back and look at her ones from previous years. And that's the thing. I mean, go back into people's um, videos. Um, CAJ Crafts, you know, she's not crafting anymore. But she has got some beautiful, beautiful um you know, wonderful inspirational videos. So do visit CAJ Crafts and continue to pray for her. Um, she's had MS for a couple of years and she ended up getting another, um, another uh, type of very rare disease uh, where she kept having seizures on top of the MS, which is just crazy. Okay, so now I need to put my back here and then my angel will go on the front and then I'll have my book, right? I think so. I'll show it to you if it's not all on camera right now. So I'm just going to go here, down here, make sure this lines up and it's about a quarter of an inch. Wow. That almost is too short. <laughs> almost. It's all right. If it is, it doesn't matter. There'll be pockets and things. Just want to make sure it's kind of even with the other one. And now I'm gonna flip it and put the angel here. And that's gonna be my flip flop tag journal. And in here, not all of them, but there's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five signatures, about three or four pages, plus tags and tuck spots and pockets, but like I said, I don't think we have enough time. I'm gonna glue that right up there. So, I 
everything looks pretty good. And like I said, don't, you don't have to use fabric. You could use muslin, you could use lace, you could use anything you want. But I really wanted to make one of these and I do have a few more gifts to give to people who are paper crafters and junk journalers. That doesn't look like, I have to move this up a little bit because it looks longer. Okay. So, now, did I do that right? So this is gonna flip this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. And now you've got a sweet little flip-flop journal, sort of, or Constantina, or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of manipulate it so it all matches, and then I can trim edges if I need to, which I can see already I need to. There's some white. Although I'm gonna be gluing that down. That's not glued down yet. So I'll, I can pull that over and glue that down. So, and I'm not going to put holes in here. I thought I'd put um, tabs at the top. So you've got, you've got your first page and then plain, angel, what I'm calling plain, angel, this one's gonna have to be cut down a little bit, this one here, plain. Did I do that right? Yeah. And then you flip this way and you've got this, and another angel, this, another angel, and you're back to the front. Does that make sense? So, what I will do is I will um, stitch this, like I said I was going to do, and then I'll come back in the next video and we'll put in the signatures and I'll show you how to do that, okay? So this is how it goes. <laughs> so it's like this. So you could also do it this way if you wanted to. So you could do this for your front page and here, and here, and here, and here. And then it would go page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But that's not the way I want to go. I want to do it this way. And I will manipulate this after I, I like I said, it's still all got to be glued down because I didn't glue down everything, you know, I didn't glue it all down. I still have to glue down the top, so I'm going to have to manipulate this a little bit and maybe trim it up a little bit to make sure everything, you know, all my tags and things match up, which if they don't, don't worry about it because it's just a little booklet. And there you go. Isn't that sweet? And then I'm just going to take my tab punch, I have one of these, but you don't have to use one of these. And make a few tabs to go, you know, to match. So I, not match, but, you know, just be different. So I'd put, instead of putting a hole here, I'll put, see like this isn't glued yet. I still have to glue that. I put this here. And then the next one, maybe this green one. Okay, or a different color. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. If you don't have a whale tail punch, you can use anything or you could punch the hole and put, you know, put ribbons. That would look really cute too. You know, punch the holes and put ribbons all coming out which that's an idea too i may do that because you know how i love things peeking out that fabric doesn't want to stay flat but it will so that's it for today we still have to put in the pages we have to do um the pages and the pockets so for example 
Let me just grab something here. Um, like say I want to do a pocket here or a tuck spot. You know what I mean? And this could be a tuck spot. And then um, I could, this is just from last night. I could put a tag in there. Okay. Um, I'll do some writing spots. This still has to be glued. Or actually it could stay open. I could pull something out of it, but I won't. I'm going to glue the whole thing. So I'm just going to get myself all complicated. But this could, you know, go like this. Or you could cut part of it. Um, just giving you examples of what I'm going to be doing in the next video. And then I'll sew in my signature here. And here. And here. And then I'll flip it. And I'll sew in another one here. And another one here. And that will be it. Okay, so I will be back in the next video to sew in the signatures. Well, the signatures will already be sewn in because it's just a three pamphlet signature. But the pages will be in and then I'll have all the pockets and all the little tags and stuff ready to go in. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing your time with me again today. I really, really appreciate you. And I will be back in the next video to show you the next steps. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.